Hi, it's Space Attack. I've had this um, cyber deck built for quite a while, um, but I've slowly been refining it and kind of um, working it into my everyday. Every time I come to a bench, I've uh, got a use for it. Um, I'll give you a quick overview of what I use it for, and then I'll give you a, a more of a hard hardware look at it. But basically, what you see here is a Raspberry Pi uh, 400 match for the screen and an amp at the side here because obviously the screen hasn't got built-in sound this is an amp for the sound um, oh I just connect it up to a power supply here on my bench so when I come in I can just plug it in it's also got batteries but when I'm using it most of the time it's mostly plugged into here um, I've got use it also use it for got a guide up there that I use uh, for when I'm uh, doing game of macro mods or other uh, mods that I need to reference uh, I also use it for my microscope, which is quite nice for screen. So you can see, I got my microscope down here, USB microscope, just plugged into a um, hub down here, so you don't have to mess around with the uh, ports at the back. I also listen to music with um, by the command line, but it just sits there. It just doesn't really take up any more space than because my um, solder iron uh, stations are. A normal solder iron and the hot air workstation so it's always plugged in there's no have to worry about battery life there is a battery i say there is a battery built in i'll uh, switch now to give you a more of a detailed look at some of the hardware i'll give you a more detailed look at the hardware now we've got the raspberry pi 400 star of the show if anyone doesn't know it's a raspberry pi 4 in a keyboard and it's slightly more overclocked than a standard raspberry pi 4 because it's got better heat dissipation with a big heat sink it's really nice, really nice unit. It's so quick to boot up. Boots up in like 30 seconds, if that. Uh, I've teamed it up with the screen, 7-inch screen. Capacitive touch, HDMI. Um, and like I say, because the screen hasn't got built-in amp and um, power um, sound, so I basically had the uh, uh, 3.5mm headphone jack to an amp circuit. But I've also uh, had a USB-C power port here, which powers the amp, but also passes the power to the screen. So there's just two um, power points there's Power the screen with this USB C port on the side, and then there's another one for the keyboard. Well, Raspberry Pi. As you can say, I normally plug it into the wall when I'm not using it on the road, but when on the road, I've got a uh, recycled Samsung battery with a power bank board that powers the screen, amp, and keyboard without uh, giving it low low voltage. It's quite cheap. That it was about ten pound for the for the board. It also has uh, quick charging, so you can quickly charge it up and also quick, quick, quick discharge. Two full-size USB-A ports, USB-C port. So you basically have three. I think you can have three power outs. I've not quite tried it because I've only had it tried on this. Um, I'll give you a, a bit of an idea of the original Cyberdeck was supposed to be in this Pelican case. Well, Pelican S case. I had the screen mount in the top here. I had an amp board down here. And then I had this keyboard in the bottom. The keyboard was just too small, a bit crappy, and I didn't really kind of get any use out of this. So I scrapped that. And then I reused the power amp board, everything here. Like I say, when I had it in the Pelican case, I didn't kind of really use it. And I wanted to use this uh, Raspberry Pi 400. So I was looking around on different places for different Pelican cases that would fit. That to be about 300. Uh, 300 mil in length couldn't really find any that were i was looking for like gun cases as well because they're quite long they're like rectangular um and then i was looking at my 3d printer which is where i got the idea for this extrusion from they sell it in different lengths but i just bought five lengths of um uh, 300 mil by 20 by 20. started making this top screen bit basically had the screen mounted little uh, 3D printed parts so that they could just slide in. That kind of determined the height, this length. And then I basically made this, the amp board, sit on a carry board that slides in. Um, I also had these ends, I just tapped the end screws, M3, M3 M6 taps, uh, made these end pieces just to hold it all together, kind of keep it rigid. And then in between, just to keep everything um, sort of in place, I printed out some little um, spacers so I have to slide them in and then everything's spaced out perfectly then. Everything's going to move around when you're using it. Everything stays in its place. Uh, the bottom piece 
the keyboard I kind of was going to leave it detached so that you could take it off and then you could plug in another source to the screen so it's basically like a battery uh, and a screen and then whatever source you wanted to put on top like the Raspberry Pi 400 or you could put like a games console or something like that but I ended up scrapping that idea I did have a 360 degree, degree hinge as well so that you could bend it all the way over and like have it like a tent you know like let the um, convertible tablets have um, scrap that idea just went with a normal standard hinge these are just like the GoPro uh, GoPro style ones that you can just print yourself really it's quite nice Um, I made it these little clips as well to hold the keyboard in place, so that wouldn't that so I eventually went with the idea of just keeping it as one single unit. I've also got clips here, so you can clip like a shoulder strap on, so you can take it out. I've not really took it out out of the house because um, I just use it on my bench now. But um, I use this HDMI ribbon cable, which is quite nice, just so that you can get a nice slick. Because um, why you'd have to have you know you know how thick a hdmi cable is these are an absolute lifesaver so it's quite a nice build really all in all uh, i'm not sure uh, on the battery life i've not really used it that much because i usually must use it plugged in but if you want to take it somewhere and i've got some cables special cables that are made to length that just just reach to here and then around the back there so that it looks it's kind of like um i'm kind of going for like a euro rack style so it's like a modular you just plug stuff in you can plug like say you can plug the different power sources in I think it charges as well as being used, which is quite nice. But yeah, it's quite a good. I think it's a good idea using these um, 20 by 20 rails, because then I can basically, if I get bored of this or want to add something, I can add like something to the HDMI, um, to the GPIO pins, and I could have like a little um, state screen. I can add that in. You can just move it around. You can just scrap this whole project and make something completely different, and the rails are still untouched really just have to print off some nice little bits absolute great project probably one of my favorite cyberdex i built even though it would be built too really but this is my full size what i call my full size uh cyberdeck which actually has some good use to it so yeah um as usual there'll be like a blog post with more instructions i might um release these files for this stuff i'm not sure how useful it really would be because i don't think i was going to build this exact thing but someone might want some of the bits, some of the slidey bits that slide in the measurements of them. So I'll try and make them available. And uh, thanks for watching.